Hi, I'm Shannon Brinker with the Academy of Chairside Assisting. I'm very excited today to walk you through exactly how to take great photos. We're going to go through all the different settings, but the best part about today is we're going to utilize two different types of cameras. The first camera that we're going to go through today is going to be our point and shoot camera, and it is by a company called Shofu. Shofu basically does developed several different types, and this one is the newest one. This is the iSpecial C4. And I'm going to show you how different it is compared to the other cameras that we're going to be utilizing, a uh, DSLR camera and an SLR camera. So we're going to touch a little bit today and start with the Shofu. And I think for those of you that are really struggling with the SLR, DSLR camera, you're going to see how nice, easy, and efficient this point-and-shoot camera will be. For the cameras today, what I want you to understand is our patient is kin to me, so I'm very lucky in the fact that I don't have to worry about wearing a shield and a mask, and uh, that is really important. As you're taking these photos, ideally I would have a lab coat on, I've got my gloves, I would be fully covered just like we would be in a practice with our PPE, but because we're videotaping, I want to make sure that you can hear my voice and understand exactly the process. Today, our patient, Kylie, I'm going to be talking to her um, as we go back and forth of some of the things um, that you really need to think about. Most importantly, that troubleshooting, okay? So, really want to start today with full face photos. When I go through and I talk about those pictures, these may be a lot of images to you. I want you to kind of know that we're going to be putting up and on this module all different types of guides. So this way you understand the, the uh, photos that you may want to utilize. Um, we like to follow just a simple orthodontic step-by-step um, -step of images. And so again, these may not be the ones that you're taking in your practice, but I'm going to go through why are we taking these. Okay, so when we start, we're going to start with our full face photos and I'm just going to begin by starting with those but giving you some troubleshooting along the way. So with Kylie, the beauty of this camera today is I'm going to share with you how easy it is to make sure that we've got the right settings and most importantly, utilizing some of that troubleshooting. Okay, so the beauty of this camera, the Shofu camera, is that everything is touch screen. I pretty much already had it set but we'll get close up later of exactly how much of her uh, are we going to want to see in the frame. For Kylie, when we think about submitting any type of records or taking the records, this is not really a full body shot. And so what I always like to do, and this is very important, is get from the shoulders up. I don't want to cut off the top of her head. And then sometimes when we're thinking about accreditation, they like for us to really get the chin up. But I want to see her shoulders. I want to really always think about, yes, the best photography that we can take. But I also know that photography is so important. And once we start doing anything to Kylie, we can't get it back. And this is so valuable. The other thing is I want to be able to remember who she is. Not that I would forget her because she's so cute. But it's really important too. And now with Dentrex, EagleSoft, um, Softin, a lot of the um, you know different types of technology that we're utilizing, um, this is important to remember who she is because we know in dentistry we remember teeth, but sometimes we forget who they are. And I like to look when I'm doing my huddle in the morning with my team is we can remember who they are because we've got their beautiful face. So this is really important as well. So let's get started. Notice today the beauty of this camera. It's so light. It weighs two pounds. When taking your hand, you always want support. And I'm going to talk about support between the difference of the Shofu and our SLR camera. You'll take your hand just like I'm shaking someone's hand, and we're just going to slide this in. But look how lightweight it is. This is the reason why a lot of team members love this camera. The other thing is, is the anxiety doesn't go up, right? Because we're going to show you how easy it is. Kylie, you'll notice her height. And Kylie, I want you to stand up straight for me, okay? Notice she's young. She's getting ready to go through ortho, so that's what we're going to be taking the photos today. A couple of things I want to start with. When you look close at the photo, you'll notice that Kylie's very close to the wall. A lot of times when we do that, we'll get a little bit of a shadow of that patient. So I'll have Kylie just take a few steps forward. So this way, as we're taking the photos, I don't see that. And I'm being really picky. The other thing is, think about your backdrop. Some people have wallpaper, they have lines in the wall, and that can become distracting. Now, I'm going to show you later what would happen if you utilize a darker background, and we'll go through that. Um, and, but today, I really like the light background, and we're going to utilize it. 
but we'll again go through that later. All right, so let's talk about our photos. The one thing about the Shofu camera is when you turn it on, you'll be able to see, do I want really close up? Do I want to be further away? And again, we're going to get into that. But where I want you to really look at is face mode. And we're going to show you exactly. Again, it's touchscreen. So when you turn it on, you'll see red, yellow, green, just like a stoplight. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just touch the screen and the mode is face. The first one that we're going to begin with that I like to is a nice smile. So I want you to notice Kylie too wants to tilt her head, right? We have a lot of patients when we're taking their photos, they go, you know, or they'll look this way. So what I want to really do is again, tell her what I'm looking for, right? So Kylie, I want you to hold your head straight up. All right. Say just like that. The other thing is notice her hands are by her side. When patients have hands in the front, I want you to hold your hands for me. What do we do? Our shoulders may be up one more than the other. Then that sometimes will give us a tendency to, right, do that head kilt again. So beside you, right, straight, love it. Now, the other thing is, is I want you to kind of lift your chin. If I had a patient that was older, like myself, sometimes we like to go like this, right, and we get these little wrinkles in our necks. Um, Kylie doesn't have any wrinkles, she's young. But what we can also do is have them stick their head out just a little bit. You say, it looks like a turtle. But just know that when I stick my head out, if I'm doing this versus sticking my head out, I get a nice profile. But we don't have to worry about that by Kylie. But just some tips here. Okay, so notice again, she wants to turn her head to the side. Okay, so I want you to say just like that for me. Okay, and then I am going to basically just touch my camera to activate it. And I'm going to back up just a little bit more. The beauty too is you'll notice I've got this grid that's going to help me line it up. So I'm going to know right away that we're going to have some issues. Now, if I was to take it this way, you can see here where it says up. You see that? What it's telling me is I can't take photos straight across. I'm going to have to tilt it like this. So I'm going to come straight up. Okay, Kylie, big smile. And again, I see you tilting your head again. There you go. Lift your chin up just a hair. All right. Beautiful. And you're going to be able to see, look how gorgeous that is. Now I'm going to touch it if it goes off, hit play. Really nice. Notice too, I've got a little bit of a space. I got her from the shoulders up and then ideally it would take me maybe five minutes to take this whole series. But since we're showing you each little step, it's going to take a little bit.